Hello, Joe Novickis here, otherwise known as NAVS on the leaderboard. Um, I'm going to go over a chart pattern here with you. And what we want to look for when we look for the chart, we look at, um, it's nice to look at a three month chart. And we want to read our chart from left to right to kind of see what the overall trend of the pattern is. Um, we could go out to a year. And um, if we look out to a year, the overall trend of this chart has kind of been. Um, you know, a big level between support and uh, here's resistance being the ceiling. So it reaches the ceiling and it bounces off and it comes down to the support level and you can kind of see a nice clear line um, pretty close to that 520 mark. Um, and this is Google. And then if we get a little bit closer in our range, you can see a nice consolidation pattern here, a nice congestion pattern, nice floor and ceiling support um, and a resistance level. And then we see a breakout to the downside and then um, final blow off and then it kind of comes back. So when we go to the three month chart, we'll kind of draw and mark up our um, chart here. So if we look here, we have a, a level here. That's our resistance level, our ceiling. Here's our support level. So the support level looks like it's right around 580. Um, and then you can see it kind of breaks down. The stock breaks down. It kind of reaches that overall the long trend, which has been 520 as we saw in the one year chart, kind of bounces off that 520 level, comes back up. And whenever we break a floor, that floor now becomes the new ceiling. So 580 is technically kind of our new ceiling right now in Google, and 520 um, is the floor. So if we look at the price right now, we're kind of in the middle of our congestion pattern. So this is a no trade right now, and you can see it's in tight consolidation. Um, it's getting even um, kind of uh, not a lot of volatility. So what we want to do is we want to wait. We want to be patient on this one. We want to wait until the 524 hits and then become buyers of Google. Um, right now, it did not come up and test that, that resistance level, that ceiling level of 580. So there's a possibility that this stock could be breaking down a little bit so when it does get to that 520 level we 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 could kind of say hey maybe maybe it's going to bounce off of it again as it has over the past year or maybe this is the the time where it's kind of running out of energy and it might break down at the 520 mark so we want to we want to watch google closely here but the most important thing that we're looking at is we're looking at our support and resistance levels and we want to go through and get into Finviz and kind of look at these levels. So we're going to go to Finviz.com and when we get into Finviz.com we're going to click on the screener. And this is, uh, right now you can see there's 7,003 stocks to, to screen through and look at. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to USA. We're going to go to, um, you know, average volume. I like to see a lot of volume so um, if we go over uh, 500,000 let's say or how about we go over 2 million average volume you can see now our list goes down to 573 stocks uh, we m might want to uh, do our price range from let's say anything over 30 and you can see now we're down to 315 stocks to choose from current volume uh, let's do over 2 million so when we do that, we, we can see um, we've, we've narrowed down uh, 239. Since the market's closed right now, the current volume won't work. Um, but now we have 230 now. And, and, and if we want to um, narrow our search more, we could maybe do uh, a range. So maybe 20 to 50. Now we're down 154 stocks to go through. So what you want to do is you want to kind of get the list, you know, below, below a, a couple hundred, 150 stocks or, or smaller. Um, that way you don't you're not looking at too many charts as we go through so once we get to this point we click on charts and now it the fault now will give us the the year charts and so this like I just showed you you look at the overall range and what is the stock actually doing in a year time and and once we find a, a stock that maybe looks attractive and it has nice levels what we want to do then is we want to then if we go to the top here and click on candle it'll give us the three month chart and this is where we're really looking at our levels because we're looking to, to trade the stock over the next week or two and uh, we want to make sure that we identify those levels so we're looking for volatility we know all these have volume but now we're looking for volatility so we're looking for chart patterns that are choppy that have big bigger longer 
moves in it, um, not ones that are too flat. So we just do this process. We're, we're scanning through, so I'm, that's kind of what I'm looking for um, as I go through the patterns. You can see this one has a nice uptrend, um, a little more volatility, but not too much. You can see um, it, sometimes they don't jump out at you right away. Sometimes they do. Here's one right here. Um, now we got to look at the time frame here. It, it's a little more volatile, but not too much. It's kind of been slow but steady. But if we look at the low here, the low uh, at 36 on our chart all the way up to 43, it looks like it's a nice tight consolidation. We could see it's forming a nice triple top into consolidation. So consolidation, it just kind of flat lines and now the stock's trying to decide whether it wants to go up or down here. So right here um, might not be a bad idea to maybe sell this one. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but the chart pattern is kind of showing us that topping formation. Would like to see more volatility there on GameStop. So this is kind of how we, we chart, and so we want to find, find stocks that are giving us nice levels. Um, here, um, we look at this one, it's it kind of gap down here, so maybe this one we want to look at um, a longer time frame. So this one recently went public, so we're not going to get a lot of um, data here, so this is probably as good as we're going to get. This is where it, it just went public. It traded in congestion. You can see it's starting to break down. Um, we could call this a floor right here at this level, and you can see it, it kind of broke that floor there temporarily. So these are kind of tough to pick out because um, you know they just went public, and, and they're going to they're going to there's going to be some moments of volatility. But definitely, you know, maybe this is one we would maybe want to take a stab at, but but tread with caution. Don't get too aggressive in that trade. So that's what we want to do. We want to find um, our charts. We want to find support levels and resistance. So if I were to look at this chart, I would say the support level would be around 29. Um, my resistance level looks like it kind of held right in here at, at 36. So I would write in my watch list, loco, support 29, resistance 36. And that's a nice spread, actually, um, if we're looking from support to resistance. Um, but we, since it broke our support level, now now we're kind of in no man's land. It broke that 29. Where is it going to go? So that's what we want to do when we're charting, um, when we're creating our watch list. We want to try to find those stocks um, that are kind of giving us those patterns. If I come up here, um, you see run up. But look at look at the spread here. We're at roughly 33. We kind of have a false breakdown here, but we're at 33 to 35. There's not a lot of movement here. It's very slow moving to that 35. So this, these types of stocks we don't want to trade. This one might be a little bit more active here. It kind of broke out, can't, kind of came back down. It's in consolidation, but not giving us too clear of levels. You can see the trend traders, you know, this, this one's been selling off, this is selling off, this is selling off. We want to make sure that we, we're focused right now on congestion trading. And this is the pattern. The more you do this, the, the better you get. And once you identify a watch list, you, I encourage you to trade in the same 10 to 20 stocks consistently because you kind of know how the stock operates and, and you've followed it for a while. Um, and that's kind of what you're looking to do. There's uh, oil. Oh, ETF for oil right here. It just you, oil's really selling down, so you can kind of see this thing's getting hit hard too. This would be your oil trade for if you want to trade oil. Um, USO is not a bad ETF to get involved with. XLE's energy. You can see energy um, has been trading up. So that's kind of what we want to do when we, when we go through our watch list. And if we don't find any, we'd want to force it. Um, and maybe we need to expand our list here a little bit, um, you know, go a little bit higher on the, um, the prices. And so now we kind of go through and look. Um, 
and looking for that volatility. All right, so that's what you're doing. You're coming up with your watch list. Um, get that posted in your Google Docs. Thanks.